as you guys can see in the title, I am trying out the new Kiki W Beauty lipsticks. She released a new line of lipsticks. They're all nude and lip liners. So I'm just going to try them out here on my channel, let you guys know what I think about the lipsticks. I'm also going to wear them throughout the day and then come back and let you guys know if they're long wearing, did anything weird that, you know, they're not supposed to do or anything like that. So let's get started. But before I start, please subscribe to my channel. You're already here. Might as well subscribe. I upload every Monday and Thursday. You guys can also find me on social media. Everything is at Sylvia M Beauty. Makeup reviews, tutorials, unboxings, and hauls. So I hope you guys stick around. It would make me really happy if you guys join my family here on YouTube. I got three of the nude lipsticks. I didn't get all eight because there were just some of the colors that I know I'm not gonna wear. And then I got two of the lip liners. We all know Kim loves nude lipsticks so I'm not surprised that she released a nude line shade of lipsticks. You guys know sometimes it is hard to find the perfect nude shade because each person likes a different type of nude. Maybe I'll find my perfect nude for me. So the lipsticks are $18. The lip liners are $12. I feel like those prices are pretty reasonable. This is the packaging of the lipsticks. They come in clear boxes. The lip liners come in nude boxes like this. By the way, I just did my hair yesterday, so that's why it looks different. I don't have any extensions in my hair. This is all of my hair. Retouched my roots because they were really, really dark. I really like it a lot. I'm not used to being this blonde. Like, I kind of want to go a little bit cooler tone on the blonde, more of like an ashy blonde. So maybe I'll end up doing that next. All right, so let's get started. So I put foundation on my lips because they're pretty pigmented and I really want to see the shades of these lipsticks. My lips feel really dry right now. When are they not dry? They're always dry. By the way, I did film this eyeshadow look and I'm going to post it on IGTV. If you guys haven't heard, Instagram released a new feature on their app. It's called IGTV. Basically what it is, you can upload videos that are longer than one minute. I think on IGTV, I want to upload makeup tutorials because I feel like like I don't really do them enough here on my YouTube channel because I mostly do reviews here on my channel and they're gonna be short tutorials and just upload like random things like about my life that you guys don't normally see here on my channel definitely go check out Instagram follow me on there make sure you update the app so you guys can see my IGTV videos it will be up on my profile it looks like a TV you just click on it and you can see whatever videos I've uploaded Okay, so I'm gonna start with Nude and One lip liner. On the lip liners, you get 0 0.04 ounces. So this is the packaging. It's really cute. I love the packaging. So let's go ahead and start lining. Okay, it feels really, really creamy. I really really like the shade of this lip liner a lot. It has like a little bit of a pink undertone. So the shades that I got on the lipsticks are Nude 1, Nude 4, and Nude 5. So this is the packaging of the lipsticks. They're like in a clear plastic container. I wouldn't say they look luxurious or anything. They kind of feel a little, I don't know, drugstore type of packaging. The packaging is still pretty in my opinion. When you open it, you have this. This is nude number one. So this shade looks really, really light. I mainly got it because the other two shades are dark. So if I want to lighten them up, I can use this one. Let me just swatch this one on the back of my hand. Okay, so that is nude number one. It's like a really light pinky nude. There is definitely some pink undertones in there, which I was not expecting. I thought it was a very nude shade. Let's see how it looks by itself. They definitely do have a sheen, so you guys can probably see that right there like they're not matte okay I don't know if it's because my lips are very dry but it's not applying that good <laughs> okay and now I'm gonna go over with the lip liner one again 
Once I went over with the lip liner number one, I feel like this nude is really wearable. A little light, but I am liking it, actually. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like the, the, this shade by itself, but I like it. Okay, the next shade I'm going to try is nude number four. So this one is nude number four, and it is darker than nude number one, obviously. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand next to nude number one. Okay, so that is nude number four, and it's more of a brown nude um, but I can see a little bit of red and pink undertones in there so I feel like it's more cool tone so I feel like this one matches the lip liner a lot I'm still gonna go over it with the lip liner feels very very creamy Okay, so that is nude number four, and I like this shade. I do kind of want to apply nude number one on top just to see how it looks. Blend it out with my fingers. Okay, so I really like it with nude number one. I feel like now like it kind of lightens it up and then it gives like more of a dimension to my lips. This might be like my favorite combination so far. Okay, this time I'm going to try the lip liner number two. All of KKW Beauty is made in the USA, cruelty free. If you guys were wondering. So those are the lip liners. This is nude one and nude two lip liners i feel like maybe nude number two would have gone more with this lipstick number four and the lip liners are pigmented so you have to go in with a light hand all right so that is how nude number two lip liner looks it's pretty dark so i'm gonna try now nude five lipstick so right here on the end, that is nude number five, and it's a lot more pink than nude number four. All right, let's go in with number five. This is nude number five, and I don't like it with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing right now, but I feel like it is a really nice shade if I want to go more natural on the eyes because then the lips are going to stand out more. I feel like I can wear this like on date night or something like that. I really like this combination, which is weird because this lip liner, I didn't think I was going to like because it was really dark, but once it blends in with the lipstick, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to apply nude number one on top of this one to see how it looks and I'm just applying it here in the middle and blending it out with my finger okay so this is how it looks with nude one on top and I like this combination also I was a little worried that I wasn't gonna like you know some of the lipsticks but I really like all of them I'm gonna take this off and then put the combination that I like and I'll be right back all right guys so I applied lip liner one nude number one and nude number four lipsticks this is what I am gonna be wearing throughout the day we're gonna go to dinner right now it's five o'clock but I wanted to just wear the lipsticks through dinner and things like that to see if they're long wearing or if you have to like keep reapplying or not so each of the lipsticks are four grams so that's how much you get it's like the standard size of a lipstick so this is a MAC lipstick and they're pretty similar in the size as you guys can see here and I haven't used this lipstick from MAC that much just wanted to show you guys really quickly I'm gonna come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on the lipsticks from KKW Beauty. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is 10.30 p.m. So I've had the lipsticks on for over five hours. I just wanted to come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on the lipsticks. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in. So I haven't reapplied the lipsticks. I haven't touched up. You can still definitely see that the lip liner is still on my lips. But I feel like the lipsticks did come off. There might be like... A a little bit of a tint left over but overall the lipsticks did come off I had a vegan burger and fries so I wasn't expecting for the lipsticks to stay on because they are traditional cream lipsticks they're not supposed to be transfer proof
waterproof like liquid matte lipsticks and it never claims that on the website that they're supposed to be long wearing or anything like that but the lip liner stayed on so that's a good thing because that way I can just carry the lipstick with me and not really worry about the lip liner I think shade 1 and 4 are my favorite combination with lip liner 1 really really loved the way my lips look now I get why Kim wears nude lipsticks all the time and people just love nude lipsticks because it just looks really nice so those are definitely the two that I would recommend number five not might not be for everybody it is more on the darker side and it does have some of like a pink ish undertone so that one was kind of like my least favorite one but I would still wear it mixed in with the nude number one shade so I feel like nude number one is my favorite because I can mix it with all the other shades or I can wear it alone if you like really really nude lipsticks you might really like nude number one it's not too nude which I thought it was going to be I love the lip liners they're so good especially lip liner number one because it is more of a lighter shade and lip liner nude too might be a little too dark for me but i would just have to wear like use a really light hand and then maybe use a brush to blend it out and mix it in with other lipsticks i just need to play with it a little bit more um but overall i really do like the formula on the lipsticks the packaging i mean it's okay it's not amazing or anything like that if the packaging was more luxurious obviously we would be paying for packaging as well so i'd rather keep the cost down and the packaging minimal but I still like they're clear and that you can see through it to see the color of the lipstick I don't feel like I need to go back and buy any of the other shades I'm pretty happy with the ones that I got so yeah those are my final thoughts and I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which shade you guys like the most and what you guys think about the new lipsticks have you tried them do you want to try them let me know in the comments I would love to know your thoughts thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to get notified when I upload a new video don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram I post updates on there and as well IGTV all right y'all I am ready to go to bed and take this makeup off I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye and just right here in the